It is my 50th birthday. I would like to share some moments with you. When I was born, I received curses instead of blessings. I was considered a burden to my family. Reddy, jaa pani bari lai. Na ba hu nahi jo. Mare lesson baaki chhe. I wanted to study and become a pilot. Instead, I was told to learn household work. My father chose my life partner. The dream of marrying a man of my choice came to an abrupt end. After working day and night, I hardly had a penny to myself. My daughter was witness to the abuse which I received when I demanded money for household expenses. Women and Health WA program is inspired by the lives and insights of women especially from marginalized and poor communities. It draws inspiration from the international women's health movements, local healing traditions and indigenous systems of medicine and the experience of community development, primary health care, rational drug therapy and consumer rights movements. WA is an effort to contribute in the larger movement of women and health at the national and international level. As a result of the WA training, I was able to explain and convince to the medical officers, doctors and staff about the importance of indigenous health practices in health education. I was able to give correct and convincing answers to different questions. This was possible due to the information provided and the confidence gained during the WAR training. When we came to participate in the WAR training, we were new in the field of women's health. We were not fully aware about the VAR training, but when we went through it, we got a new direction. The training was very useful to bring about positive changes in my family, organization and at the work area. I feel very proud uh, I could be part of this training program or the all, all uh, of this VAR activity from the time of its inception as a resource person and uh, that has helped a lot not only myself learning a lot of from the people but also i could see that how this can put into a comprehensive training program where we are talking about empowerment due to the wa program the participants men and women have gained self confidence to collectively implement the WA health program from a women-centered perspective. WA training has contributed in a major way to gain this self-confidence. WA means women and health program. It is a program of three months duration. It is coordinated by Chetna. Chetna, which means Center for Health Education, Training and Nutrition Awareness, also means awareness in many languages and as the name indicate, it disseminates health information to people. Chetna is the secretariat of the WA program which apart from Gujarat and Rajasthan is implemented in different states of India including Nepal. From my experience from this training program, I would like to say that this program has been revolutionary in the women's health movement. The beginning of war date back to 1988-89 when the German Foundation for International Development did a series of events 
and realized that the organizational and management capacities of women needed to be built up. Uh, in this context, uh, Asha Kachru did a uh, needs evaluation in India and Nepal and realized that primary health care is one thing that women don't have much access to. Women are working in the field as health workers, but as managers, you rarely saw a woman worker. And that is when uh, the DSC organized a workshop in uh, Surajkund on uh, strengthening primary health care in India. And a group of experts were called to discuss what could be done in building up these capacities of women. The group came out with three main things. They felt that uh, access of women's health care, since it was limited, we needed to build their self-confidence and uh, management capacities. We also felt very strongly that uh, we needed to value traditional medicines because this is what really led to some amount of empowerment. And the third most important uh, realization during the workshop was that unless we see primary health care from a gender sensitive perspective, we really won't be doing much. Based on this, we set up some ta core groups and a task for groups and we worked extensively to develop some modules. And these modules were presented to another series of experts in Bangalore, where they discussed all the modules and detailed out what were the women's health concerns. VAR program is based on women-centered comprehensive perspective. This perspective evolved in a brainstorming interaction of women and men who are closely associated with women's health program at the national and state level and who have rich experience of several years. Let us talk about this perspective. There are various factors affecting women's health and a triangular diagram has been developed keeping in view these factors which is the central theme of the WA perspective. You will notice that two forces act at the base of the triangle. One is undernutrition and the other is overwork. At home, women work maybe from 2 a.m. in the morning to 11 p.m. in the night. They are doing a variety of work, but this work is not recognized or valued. Lots of energy is used while working. Most women do not get enough food as compared to the energy that they spend. As per our tradition, the woman eats after everyone eats, due to which she eats the least. These two forces directly affects women's health. Besides overwork and undernutrition, there is another major force affecting women's health, which is usually forgotten by people working with health, and that is violence. Violence is one of the factors which women have to face at all stages of her life. Violence could be both physical and mental. Physical violence is visible, whereas mental violence is invisible. Violence could be due to reasons such as dowry, rape and feticide. The cycle of events continues to affect my mind, my body, my soul. In the recent years, the changes in the economic policy at the global level have forced the rural population to migrate to cities in search of livelihoods. I feel that as the dazzle of the city life increases, the country goes into debt. Inflation also affects women's health. In order to adjust to these changes, to reduce the economic burden, women eat less and work more. All these factors are so much interrelated that when combined, they create a tremendous force on women's health. We have realized this and WA triangular forces is a result of this realization. India has uh, different systems of traditional formal medicines. 
Yunani, Ayurveda, Siddha, Yoga. Uh, these are more or less uh, very limited uh, to mo big cities and many rural areas have uh, hardly access to these systems. Whereas the folk uh, system is practiced informally in homes. It is in hands of people. It is accessible to them. It is affordable to them. And for many primary health care complaints and particularly when we talk of women's health problems, it is more or less effective in common complaints. Vast stresses more on these uh, systems, the informal systems which are practiced in many rural areas. Baha looks forward to an interface of different systems of health care uh, which is uh, most appropriate to people living in rural areas. Health management in most non-government organizations as well as the government is mainly a male dominated area. Women are health workers at the field level but you rarely see women planning programs contributing in designs and evaluating these of their efforts. Therefore, the main aim of VA is to build the capacities of these women to contribute into planning, organization and management of VA programs. The VA Western Region Training Program was conducted by Chetna at Ahmedabad, Gujarat in 1997. The process started with an interactive planning meet in 1994 with over 100 NGOs from Gujarat and Rajasthan. Thereafter, Chetna team members visited potential VA trainee organizations. In 1996, the NGO leaders, resource persons and the Chetna team met for two days to solicit suggestions on the VA training design and content. In February 1997, 21 field-level organizations participated in the Western Region VAR training. 13 from Gujarat, 6 from Rajasthan, 1 from Uttar Pradesh and 1 from Himachal Pradesh. 33 women and 5 men having experience as supervisors health workers and coordinators participated in the three-phased VAR training program spread over the year 1997. All the participants were literate. Phase 1 concentrated on orientation and sensitization of VAR program. Phase 2 focused on awareness building related to women's health in the holistic and comprehensive perspective. Phase 3 developed management and training skills for effective implementation of women and health programs at organizational level. The training methodology adopted two interrelated approaches. The psychodynamic approach and the participatory approach. The psychodynamic methodology believes that thought processes are not separate from experience of feeling. Second, new skills acquired must be accompanied by the belief that they are worthwhile and the individual is competent to make use of them. Practice of dhyana is a key technique in psychodynamic learning. Health management in NGOs as well as in government is largely dominated by men. The challenge is to enable women to take decisions and manage health care in the interests of women. They have to be trained and prepared to take on managerial responsibilities in primary health care as the building of these capacities has been neglected so far. Management as a discipline, as a body of knowledge also has to be reoriented in this uh, 
new orientation. The tasks, roles, functions and processes of management have to be understood in the context of gender and primary healthcare concerns. Skills have to be acquired in understanding self, group processes, communication, organizational structures, program management. Women have to become managers of healthcare programs from the proposal formulation to the evaluation stages. It is in this context that VA aims to build and strengthen the managerial and organizational capabilities of women health functionaries in alternative management processes which integrate gender concerns and traditional health practices. In the evaluation of VA, most of the VA graduates expressed that they had increased their self-confidence, their understanding about primary health care concerns and mainly they had understood the health care from a gender perspective and uh, women graduates from 21 field areas and six rural areas are planning and developing their own programs. So this is a great achievement for work. WA believes that health is a personal and social state of balance and well-being in which a woman feels strong, active, creative, wise and worthwhile. where her body's vital power of functioning and healing is intact, where her diverse capacities and rhythms are valued, where she may decide and choose, express herself and move about freely. I fought, struggled and learned that I do not want my story to be repeated. <laughs>